Welcome back to the Comic Book Savant YouTube channel. I'm your host, James Harris. In this episode, we're going to be doing a comic book review. And this review, we're going to be covering Dynamite Comics, John Wick Volume 1 Trade. Uh, this collects the John Wick uh, five-issue miniseries that recently uh, came out through Dynamite Comics, written by Greg Pak. What can I say about this? I feel like... Um, if you're a fan of John Wick, um, we just recently, um, about a month ago, had John Wick 3 drop in theaters that did extremely well. Um, I had, I'm had i a huge fan of the John Wick franchise. I saw it and loved it. Um, it's cool seeing it adapted. I was trying to figure out where this was going when I first kind of caught, caught my eye. And I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting because we can see uh, certain times that companies will get licenses. Sometimes, you know, they, it's just like quick cash grabs and sometimes they try to do um, something substantial with it and I really like the take that uh, Dynamite took and what this basically serves as is this is kind of a prequel uh, story um, kind of leading into how John gets associated with the whole world of the continental um, the high table um, and give some uh, give us some flashbacks of his childhood and what certain events that kind of start leading him down the path that led him to being an assassin. So this is just a glimpse. I don't know. They haven't announced that they're going to be doing any more. Um, I don't know if Dynamite has any plans again to continue on or they might do another limited series. They never specified if it was a limited series or an ongoing series and they're just taking a break in between. I don't know how well this, you know, this sold, you know, again, like I picked up issues because I'm a huge John Wick fan. And since I'm a comics fan, it only made sense for me to give it a try. And I have to say this book is not going to be for everyone. If you're not a um, huge John Wick fan, you don't, um, you know, don't want to know more about his backstory, um, then you, this might not be something for you to pick up. I'm a huge John Wick fan. I love Keanu Reeves in a role. Um, I know Greg Pak, you know, Pack is a good writer. And I wanted to definitely give it a try and to see what it was. Did I get as much as I wanted about his background? No, this is just a small glimpse. And you can do that in, in a comic form. Lord, uh, Lewis Riddick's character, that is the, um, front desk, the front desk guy, um, and the John Wick movies, you see how they, um, you kind of see some background on how long they've actually known each other, which was like a good little Easter egg in it and really made it all that it really connected to the bigger world because this is a whole section in John Wick's past that we've never seen before, even heard mentioned. So it was just cool to get that small glimpse. If I had to rate this, I give this a 6.25 out of 10. This is not like a top of the stack book, but again, this is just me totally being a huge fan that, that I picked it up. But again, it might not be for everyone. Some fans might be disappointed that it doesn't go deeper in its background. And it's not a true origin story, but I feel like they are kind of leaving that open for different things. We've already had an announcement that a John Wick 4 is going to be coming out in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. We have a Continental TV show that's going to be uh, coming soon. Uh, so it's a lot of things. They're really expanding this world. Um, the movie, the franchise has been a huge success. They're branching out in a lot of different mediums. And it's cool to see that they ventured into comics. Again, I don't know how successful it was in comparison to what they're planning on to do in other mediums. And actually with the you know major motion pictures, they've had three successful films. And hopefully the fourth one is just as good as the first three. Um, but again, it was cool to get a small glimpse into some of his background. And I hope that it did well enough that somewhere down the road between now and maybe 2021 when John Wick 4, because it seems they kind of align this to lead into John Wick uh, 3 coming out. I think the hardcover hit right before that movie dropped in theater. So we might have to wait a little while longer. But I feel like um, it's definitely some good good bones here that I would like to see expanded and see them uh, go further. I'd like to give a shout out to the um, also I'd like to give a shout out to the artwork in the book by uh, Giovanni uh, Valenta and Matt uh, Guado. I'm unfamiliar with their artwork. They do a, a solid job with uh, um, with the art. They make sure you, John looks like Keanu Reeves, which is cool. Um, and they do great with the action pieces and you, you get that John Wick flavor in the panels throughout. So again, it's a solid book. It's not the greatest book. Um, if you, I recommend it highly to John Wick fans. If you're a John Wick fan and you want more of the lore, 
um, in the John Wick world is worth a pickup. If you're not a big fan of that and you don't like action, you know, action packed kind of like comics, then this might not be worth your time. So I want to go ahead and put that disclosure out there up front. Um, but if you can find it at a good price, it's definitely worth picking up and giving a, a read. This is like something I read in like one sitting. This is like quick to the point. Um, fun ac action comic book. So definitely uh, worth checking out for John Wick fans. That's all I have for you guys for this episode. If you like what I do here on the channel, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so by clicking the subscribe button. If you have subscribed, make sure you click the bell notification down below that you're alerted when new content drops on the channel. I constantly am dropping out new videos um, multiple times a week, so definitely click that notification so you're alerted as soon as the content drops. I will also have a playlist that I will put right here up here for you guys for previous comic book reviews that I've done on the channel. So definitely uh, click on that playlist and you can see all the other uh, trades and comics that I've reviewed on the channel up to date. And that's all I have for you guys for this episode. Again, I'm your host, James Harris. This is the Comic Books of my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys stay safe and enjoy reading. Until next time, you guys take care and I'll be seeing you soon.